Hello friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have a really fun flip through video and I was not actually thinking I was going to pick this book up when I did, but I saw this coloring book and this is Y2K Mandalas by the lovely and talented Alexandra Francis. And I put it on my wish list, and then like a day or two later I was like you know what I'm just gonna buy it even though I'm in like kind of a coloring slump I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it anyways by the looks of it this is the most like nostalgic um, if you're like a 90s or 2000s kid like super nostalgic um, honestly so I am a 2000s kid I was born in 1998 um, so definitely a 2000s kid some of this stuff I don't quite recognize, but some of it I do, so definitely nostalgic um, in some cases, but I'm sure for someone else, like, all of this is so nostalgic, but I'm really excited to flip through this book for you guys. If you are wanting to pick it up, I will leave it linked down below for you guys to just buy off Amazon, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through, and let's get right on into it. Okay, so just to start out, the cover is gorgeous. I feel like I say that about all the books I flip through, but I feel like covers of coloring books are just getting better and better, so... We have the cover and then we are getting right into the flip and um, I think this book is $8.99 on Amazon if I remember correctly. She doesn't do a, um, a like early, I guess like early sale like if you buy the book in the first like week you get a good deal like she doesn't really do that. I definitely think $8.99 is a really fair price anyways. Um, especially because some coloring book artists and companies price their books at like $10 or $12. Um, so $8.99 is not bad at all. But this is a part of her Mandala series, um, as I mentioned. And, well, I mentioned it was Mandalas. I don't think I mentioned it's a part of a series. But she has a bunch of these Mandala books. And this is actually my first one that I've picked up. And I do have the rest on my wish list, and I definitely think I will pick them up eventually. Um, but this was a really good one to start with, and I just think it's so fun. I think there is so there are so many cool things you can do with this book. Um, oh, I feel like you could just use like glitter, maybe some neons, just all of the fun things. And I feel like this is a really perfect marker book like marker and gel pen coloring book this feels to me like the type of book where you don't necessarily need colored pencils to make it look good if you know what I mean um this just screams like basic easygoing kind of a vibe if that makes sense um obviously go in with pencils if you want to go in with pencils but I just think like this could really benefit from being like really um like marker uh what's the word I'm looking for like markers are really like they're very stark that's not really the word I was thinking of but they're like stark and they stand out because they're so like vibrant I guess um gosh so cute baby bottle pop um my friend recently had a baby and I went to her baby shower this was a month and a half ago now and she gave out baby bottle pops <laughs> which was so cute and I tried it and it was the blue flavor, which was really good, but you guys, that is pure sugar, so that was an experience. So it definitely, I ate it right before bed, too, and I was like, oof, never again. Sugar high right before bed. Never smart, but it was it was pretty good, so. Uh, recently had one of them. Oh God, not the telephone with the little, like, um, dial, that, like, spin dial. I don't know if that's exactly what it's called, but... These are just so fun and nostalgic and really adorable images. Um, I am so glad she came out with a book like this. A little gumball machine, that is so fun. Um, if you purchase this book off Amazon, just be warned that it does come printed on the Amazon printed paper. You can also purchase, I believe like majority, if not all of her coloring books directly on her Etsy as well. That way you can get a PDF version, then you can print it on whatever paper you desire. I personally don't really mind the, um, Amazon printed paper. I've never really run across an issue, but I also don't use supplies that like trying to think of the word like supplies that would really like work any less because of the paper quality if that makes sense so this gives me very um Danny Banani fun usual 
fun usual suspects vibes a little bit i don't have any of those books but this is kind of a little bit what it's reminding me of with like i don't know but also so fun like a little board game were they thinking sorry i'm thinking maybe mm, maybe not sorry hmm i mean i mean this honestly could have just been like kind of like board game-esque in general not like a specific game but oh wow this book is so fun you guys let me know in the comments if you plan on picking this book up I am definitely really glad I picked it up I definitely should leave this out so that way I can color in it hopefully soon um I'm off for the weekend so I'm definitely gonna try to do some coloring some diamond painting this weekend just some relaxing activities because your girl is constantly stressed and just needs to de-stress because I'm an overthinker, anxious little girl. So, yeah. <laughs> little Tamagotchi. God, this is so cute. The little cell phones. I don't think... No, actually, I'm pretty sure I had a flip phone like this. But really what I did have when I was a little bit younger... By a little bit younger, I mean, I'm, I mean younger. I had, like, phones that would slide. It was a sliding phone, so it had, like, a keyboard. Um, were you guys more of this era or like the sliding keyboard phone let me know I might have had one of those kind of phones but I definitely had a sliding keyboard phone too the paints so fun again just like markers and gel pens would look so good oh that's super cute oh I, I so love this yes my word of the day is cute yes my word of the day is always cute sometimes I get comments and like this has happened on a couple occasions where someone says oh your word of the day is cute and I'm like yeah I just that's how I talk just I know I need to think of other adjectives I mean if you don't like it you don't need to you don't need to say that I say cute a lot like trust me I know I need a thesaurus so anyways oh I love it this is awesome this is really great I also very sincerely apologize about my nails. They're like really outgrown, which is so weird. I got them done right before I went to Vegas a couple weeks ago. So I got them done two weeks ago today. And for some reason, they're already like super overgrown, which is wild. Uh, my nails grow really fast. My nails and my hair both grow really, really fast. I don't, I don't know why, um, but yeah, they're like really overgrown. And she like got it really close to the cuticle when she painted them. So I'm... I'm stressed because I need to get them done again or I need to just like somehow make this look good because I feel like it does not look good but and then we have a bonus page from Summer Mandalas which is so cute and makes me want the book because this is really cute but you get a bonus page of course and then just the normal like ending thank you for your support you can post coloring pages she has a Facebook group Instagram <laughs> all of the above excuse me I just like hiccuped all of the above and then yeah that is it on the back you just have a couple different like thumbnails but they're like she colored them in so yeah that is it for y2k mandalas by alexandra francis again i will leave this link linked down below for you guys if you want to purchase a copy for yourselves let me know in the comments if you plan on picking this book up but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and i will catch you in my next video bye guys